Hello, 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 y'all. What's up, my beautiful people? And how are Brenda's beauties? I'm really concerned when I ask that question because I hope everyone is doing splendid. I really, really do. Uh, I'm here before you today, guys, uh, with a short video. Uh, I have for you today a seafood boil. And those of you who are here for the first time, go ahead and um, hit that uh, subscribe button. Well, and better still, go ahead and view the video and decide then whether or not you want to, it's something you want to subscribe to. So like it, share it, and subscribe to the video, uh, people. And uh, then, you know, we'll uh, kick you from there. We'll just take it from there. So anyway, uh, I hope everybody's doing fine today. I really do. You know, I uh, took a glance outside and ooh, I really, really want to be out there, guys. It is so beautiful. So, so beautiful today, y'all. So anyway, since I couldn't be outside, guess what I decided to do? I went ahead and cleaned my freezer out, y'all. And so that's how I ended up with my seafood boil. So I have a little bit of a little bit of everything in here today, y'all. So anyway, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, uh, give God His uh, just do, and then we're gonna get it in. We're gonna get it in. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you today, God, just thanking and praising you for this beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning, God. We thank you, Father God, for all that you've done. We thank you, God, that you are still in control, Father. We thank you so much for that. Father God, we thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. And I ask that you would let it be used as nourishment for my body. Remove all the impurities from this food, Father God. We ask, Father God, that you would feed the homeless and the hungry. Heal the sick, Father God, and stop this pandemic, God. In the name of Jesus, we give you honor, glory, and praise. We thank you right now, and we count it done. And all of you who agree with that prayer, because there's power and agreement, all of you who agree, say amen. Amen. Yep. So anyway, guys, for you today, you know, here's a, a bowl full of leftovers. Of course, they were they're leftovers, but, well... I don't know if you consider them leftovers or not because they were uncooked. So anyway, you know, I have some of my uh, Berenda sauce. I have for drinking, I have uh, some vitamin C today. I have, I have me some juice. I'm, I'm eating uh, lobster tails today, guys. I have mussels. I have potatoes. I have corn. I have some snow crab. Didn't have a whole lot of those, but... With everything else that I have, I have shrimp, I have um, crawfish. <laughs> I have a little something, a little bit of everything, everything up in that freezer, guys. So uh, anyway, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, so anyway, I don't even know where I want to start at first. And, get, and I got my lemons, of course. Got them lemons. I think I'll start off with some mussels. Yep, I got a spoon in my sauce today because I just, you know, uh, didn't want to uh, get too, too messy. But however, y'all know I dig down in there. I dig down in there for them onions. <coughs> Woo, what I got in here? <coughs> it's a little spicy today. <coughs> yeah. It's just a little spicy today, but that's all right, because it's still delicious. It's still delicious. Yeah, I've been, I'm having a good day. I really am. You know, I've been viewing a lot of y'all's videos, and y'all, wow. <laughs> Some of you, but you know, I've been really enjoying them. Oh, got me some eggs, too. Got me some of them eggs, y'all. I went and bought me some scallops. You know, uh, but we, I, I really, I'm really never eating scallops. So I bought a a bag of the smaller ones, and I wanted to uh, check them out first before I, you know, would <clears throat> set them in my dish. So I, so I haven't done that yet. So um, I did uh, test cook a couple of them this morning, and I kind of liked them. So anyway, let me get a little bit of eating in. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I'm hungry. Because I'm hungry, y'all. So I'm going to get a little bit of eating in. And then I'm going to talk to you for a minute. I usually cut these off, but it looked like it was uh, just willing to just uh, roll on off there for me, so. And it did just that, y'all. It did just that. My friend, my friend, and I want to, and I'd like to uh, say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Yeah, you guys are pretty wild, but it's okay, because that's all good. I'm enjoying every bit of it, you know. I'm enjoying every bit of the ride. You guys have some really, really uh, nice content out there. Okay, well, come on up off of here. Come on up off of here. Yep. Yeah, my craw uh, my um, lobster tails are not, they're not them super big ones. Of course, I'm not really crazy. You know, I mean, I, I've said to you guys before, if, uh, if some meat is just too super, super humongous, I'm just, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, yeah. What the that? But they're good, though. Mm-hmm. Y'all, look at there, look at there. Mm. Shout out to my daughter Raquel, my daughter who uh, many of you know I'm seeking justice for. And, you know, I had to uh, uh, re ask the detective, listen, uh, have you quit? Because, listen, <clears throat> I haven't heard from you. And I need to hear from you. Because I don't want to have to put my boots on the ground. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? Because I know a lot of people that she knew. And so I don't want to have to put my boots on the ground and, uh, you know, start asking uh, my own questions. But I do want justice for my daughter. And I deserve it. And she deserve it because she paid the ultimate price. And her children certainly deserves it. So shout out to you, baby girl. Shout out to uh, Raquel. We miss you so much. And this will be our first summer without her. For those of you who don't know, she was murdered in October of 2019. 32 years old. A young lady. And I'm desperately seeking justice for her. Right now, I'm her voice. And y'all know me. <laughs> I see it loud. Y'all see I keep looking down because I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to get to the point where I'm not uh, doing that drip. That drip drip. Yeah, that lobster tail was good. And I said, you know what? Mm hmm. I know about these crawfish. I might have to save them for my granddaughter. But they do have the flavor that everybody says they have. They really do. Yeah. Woo. I 
swallowed that too fast. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Mm. But you know, Corona really canceled a lot, a lot of plans. Corona canceled life to uh, put life at a standstill. But I'm thankful that uh, I'm still here to talk about it. But, you know, yep, it canceled my Cinco de Mayo, y'all. I had a, a Cinco de Mayo prepared for you guys that, yeah, it, it was all that. It was really all that. Excuse me for the smack, and if it, if, it, if if you're bothered by it, Woo. sorry. Go ahead and cut this one. It took me too long to get that other one off of there. Took me a little bit longer than I uh, liked. <clears throat> and you know what? I thought about today. Now this is where I have slacked up at you guys. And, and it's probably because I wasn't getting a whole lot of response. But I bet I'll get a, a, a huge response on it now. Where's all my grandmas at y'all? Where's all my grandmas? Yeah, I'm hollering at y'all. I'm back on that. Because you know what? Grandmas are jewels. Grandmas are precious gems. So you guys deserve a shout out. You know, grandmas, we grandmas, we do a little bit more. Now, these, some of these moms are, are, are great moms. Just like my daughter, she's a great mom. But grandmas do a little bit more, y'all. <laughs> Especially, you know, just like, you know, many of you, you know, you know my story. You know, I did 18 years in prison and, you know, and I, I had uh, five children that I left out here with who? My parents, grandma and grandpa. God rest their souls in heaven and they can never be replaced. I, I, I miss them so much and I thank them so, so much for everything they've done for me and my children. And so who am I to say no uh, to my daughter's children, my daughter who was murdered? So, you know. Of course, I wish she was still here to, you know, raise her own children. But, so, this is not by choice, but I love them. I love them. And, you know, so, here we are. This is us, y'all. This is us. So, where's all my grandmas? You know, I, 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 I would be willing to uh, say that uh, there's somebody out there that's in a similar situation who's taking care of their grandchildren because uh, of, a, a, of an absent parent. For one reason or another, in which I hope it's not because of the reason that uh, I'm having to do it. But you know, you know, sometimes you know, uh, uh, we go astray. I, you know, I wowed out. I wowed out when I when I was my daughter's age, and you know, we go astray. So you know, sometimes um, we we don't be there like we should be there. You know, I used to hear a lot of girls when I was in prison, a lot of uh, women would come in and they would say, yeah, you know, I did what I did. You know, I mean, I, I, I used drugs, but I was a good mom. You see how I'm looking at you? <laughs> Do you see that? That's because, no, you wasn't. And, you know, and that's straight up in denial, so. And some of you will probably argue with me on that point. But the reason why I say that is this. Yeah, you, you probably fed your kids. You probably kept them looking nice, you know. But that wasn't even what they wanted. 
That was absolutely not what they wanted. They wanted your time. They wanted you. And if you were using drugs, if you were in a, an addiction like that, you you just really can't tell me that uh, you spent the quality time with your children that they that it required for them to be satisfied. Because if you did, then you were using around them. You were using in front of them. And so I'm sure many of you weren't doing that. So in order for you to do what you do and do you, you know, many times you couldn't be around your kids. Mm, 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 mm. I cooked this just right. Mm. The potato, y'all. And that that's no judgment against that's not a judgment against you. It's just, you know, that we all make mistakes. That's why they put erasers on pencils. We all make mistakes, you know, but we and we learn from them. So, you know, when I've said I've, I've done uh, 18 calendar years, many of you probably think, who did I kill? I ain't killed nobody. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I didn't kill nobody. But um, yeah, I, I I was in that life. I was in that life. You know what? And and I and I will say to you today that what a mighty God we serve, because you know it it, it could have took me out of here, and but God didn't let it. You know He gave me an opportunity. That's the reason why when, when a lot of people say, oh, I don't pay no attention to him or her because we, uh. uh they just talking that jailhouse religion. I disagree with that. I disagree solely because it works for some of us. Some of us don't hang up, don't lay the Bible on the shelf when we're on our way out of the prison. Some of us bring it, embrace it, and come on out here with it because one thing about it, uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to still keep on living the same life? And if you're not, you need Jesus. Jabria, Jabria, you don't have to come. I can hear you though. Yeah. I can hear you. Oh. You know it. Wouldn't have said nothing, but she was getting louder and louder. <laughs> in a minute, she was going to drown me out up in here. Sorry, I'm getting full now, y'all. I'm getting full now. I said I wasn't going to be before y'all long. And I haven't been. But listen. Guys. You know, help a sister out. You know, um, I'm pushing toward a thousand now, and uh, um, I I've uh, surpassed uh, the 900 mark, and I'm pushing toward a thousand. So you know, uh, help me out. You know, and not that I don't know, I don't know that that seems to be everybody's goal. But you know, I know even when I get to a thousand, there's a whole, whole, whole lot of work still to be done. So you know, I I mean, you know. It's just, I don't know. It's just, just uh, help me to make that thousand mark. <clears throat> and 
And I guess I could say for no particular reason because, you know, I don't know, uh, uh, things are going to stay the same. But I enjoy what I do. And, you know, and I, and, you know, this is just, um, a th 1,000 subscribers is, is a, a huge milestone because I'm going to tell you something. You know, I, I've seen a lot of people on, on here that's dis that being disappointed because, listen, hey, nobody been no more disappointed than me. I'm telling you the truth. The struggle is real. The struggle is real, y'all. So, uh, no need to think that, um, uh, you think you're just going to crank up a YouTube channel and just sit up on, sit up in the, uh, the camera and look ready. <laughs> no. It's a whole, whole, whole lot more to go along with it than that. It really, that's it. Y'all YouTubers, y'all know. Y'all know. It, it, it's not a joke. It's a whole lot more than, than just sitting up in the camera. So. Yeah. But, you know, you know, when you like what you do, though, it's not work to you. And to the people who I've seen on here that, I mean, really, really heartbroken and, and really disappointed, listen, hang in there. Just go ahead and hang in there. Just keep going. Keep going. Because you, you'll get where you're trying to go. You know when, uh, when my peace of mind came with this? When I stopped uh, being in a hurry and feeling like uh, I was, uh, I had a, a, a fire to go to. What? In a hurry for what? When you ain't in competition with nobody but yourself, then you know you can cruise. You can take your time. You're not in no competition with nobody. You just wanna, you know, have, just have a good, have fun with it. Have fun with it. That's what I just, I just said. Mm -mm, I'm just gonna have fun with this. And when I did that. It was a whole new freedom, guys. It really was. It was a whole new freedom. Because stop being in a competition with people. What 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 for? What what's the purpose of that? I don't you know, I don't know. My my bills are gonna still get paid. Uh, you know, regardless of YouTube or not, uh, I'm gonna still keep on being Brenda. I'm I'm still gonna keep, you know, uh, living my blessed life. So I just I, I don't get it. I don't get that part of it, but I'm glad I don't. I'm glad I don't. Ooh, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I ain't got full up in here. You hear me? No, and I haven't ate none of the crawfish. Nope, sure haven't. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna go on and uh, eat a couple of them before I get off of here so I can let y'all go. Lord, yes, Lord. What a mighty God we serve. I'm telling you the truth. And listen, here's another thing I want to say right quick. This pandemic, God is still on the throne. He's still on the throne. And, you know, and this too shall pass. You know, it, it, it'll pass. But the only thing that is slowing us down and holding us up is us. If you don't need to be out there, listen, it's still, listen, it's still not time. It's still not time. If you don't just have to be out there, if it, if, if your errand or your run you need to make is not essential, give it a minute. Still not time. You know, a lot of us have missed our birthdays. A lot of us have missed uh, uh, celebratory events that we wanted to do. But listen, what's more important? Life. It's all about life. It's all about life. So, I don't know. I don't know about nobody else, but my life is worth living. <laughs> it is. You'll never catch me saying, I don't have nothing to live for no way. Mm -mm. I had a whole lot to live for. Whew. I'm done, guys. I'm done. I am so, so full. I really am. These uh, cleaning out my free, uh, freezer. Yeah, so uh, this was a nice little boil here. 
You know, I got a little, uh, little bit of everything up in there, and I am really done. But I, I, I'm so thankful that you guys took the time. And here's, here's one more other thing, and, it, and this is very important. I think I said to you guys before, when I um, subscribe to you, I view your channel first. I view your video first. And because here's another thing. Why delay the inevitable? Because why race to the finish line with uh, a, a lot of subscribers and you don't have the, you don't have the uh, watch hours? So let's do it along the way. Doesn't that make sense? Let's just kill two birds with one stone. You know, because by the time you get to the finish line, uh, uh, to your goal of uh, uh, subscribers, now you got to go back and start trying to gather up some uh, views. I'm doing it as I go. Now, I'm doing it to you. And I hope you're doing it to me. Uh, Excuse me. And I'm going to tell you something else. Everybody's video is not uh, my preference. But you know what I do? I'm going to click your video on. <laughs> and I may go use the restroom. Or I may go get me a snack. And I'm going to come back. But I'm going to let your video play out. And you know. And that's... and and. That's a very few of you. That's a very few. You know, I ain't all that crazy about, you know, the hip, you know, uh, uh, the hip hop and the, the, you know, but I will watch it. Some of it's good. Some of it I, I like. But, you know, listen, start racking up them views, guys. And uh, so when I view your videos, believe one thing. I'm fully viewing them before I uh, subscribe to them. And that's what I'm doing now. So I hope that's what you're doing for me. So go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to my video, guys. And uh, listen, let's support each other. I I'm talking about real, I'm talking about the maximum, the maximum support you can give. We're all in this together. We're all doing this thing together. You know, there's no big I's and little U's. So, you know, let's do this. It can be done. YouTube is a huge platform. And guess what? If you're in it for the money, they got a whole lot of that too. <laughs> so I love y'all. I do. I love you. And you know, listen, let's stay connected. Let's stay connected, guys. Stop, no, stop the unsubscribing if that's what you're doing. You know, stop that because it hurts people's feelings. It discourages people. And I wouldn't even want that on my conscience. You know, so uh, let's make this work. Let's make it happen, guys. I love y'all. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for y'all. And, um... I look forward to every time uh, I get to see you, you know, and um, know what I always say, because that's what I always want you to do. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. There's always still hope if your hope is in God. So keep hope alive. You can't keep it alive if you're walking around uh, 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 miserable and walking around depressed. You got to keep hope alive and know that uh, a brighter day is coming. And it is. I love you. And I'm praying for you. And uh Stay in peace.